Hi and welcome to this uh, Machina MK3 review. My name is Matthias and this is Morning Dew Media. Let's go! Yeah, so I've had uh, Machina now for about a year. I bought it in uh, September, I think, 2017. And uh, in the beginning I thought that this might be just another hype hardware that's uh, only going to collect dust in the end, but uh, it turned out that it's, uh, it's a pretty neat uh, device and I've used it on plenty of tracks. The build quality is excellent and uh, I haven't had any issues with any of the buttons, neither on the touch uh, sensitive uh, strip here or the touch knobs up here. They work uh, really great. Yeah, as you can see on the back side here, we have a, a lot of inputs. We have uh, a couple of line ins here and a mic in. Keep in mind though that uh, if you want to connect the guitar, you should get yourself, do yourself a favor and get yourself a line box like this because uh, the signal is uh, a little bit weak. But if you get the line box or connect it to a mixer or a preamp before you go into the, the mic in, you can get the really, really good signal. There is a mic in gain, but uh, it doesn't really give you enough uh, amplification, so get a decent uh, direct input box and you are good to go. Then we have the line outs, line out volume, headphones, headphones volume. And you can also connect uh, other MIDI gear. I uh, like to connect the uh, Electron Digitact and uh, sync it with a machine. Then we have a pedal input. I've uh, actually tried this with a uh, MIDI expression pedal and it worked uh, very good to control uh, some automation. Then the USB connection, <laughs> the USB connection and uh, your, uh, and the power input and the uh, on off button. Yeah, and then we have the touchpads. I think the touchpads of the Machina are very playable. The response is great and the velocity sensitivity works really well. Um, as a drummer, I think it's important that you have great response on these. Compared to a regular keyboard uh, touchpad, it's not really comparable because uh, they are always a bit disappointing with the uh, velocity sensitivity on, uh, on the keyboards. So. The pads are super. Okay, let's take a look at a track that I produced with a Machina called uh, Marsiascope and I will show you some of the presets uh, and patches that I created with a Machina and how I did them. Let's go! Okay, so Marsiascope actually began with uh, recording this uh, acoustic phrase. And then I also recorded some other snippets of acoustic guitar, like this, uh, this harmonic. And on this patch, uh, we just have the, the basic sampler with a meta verb and the beat delay. I really like this, uh, the effects of the machine. They sound really awesome. So that's on uh, this group, and then we have uh, 
another group with a pad. And this is uh, it's a sample of uh, and uh, set reversed. You can you do that here? It's some kind of percussive sound. Set to reversed and uh, with some reverb and beat delay on this one too. Then on the first group, this red group, we have uh, two muted sounds and the music box. And we have a Marco Polo. It's uh, another pad sound. You can easily transpose on the machine. Okay, so that's the introduction pad of, uh, of the track. And if we look into the sampler, we can see that it's a contact, a contact patch. And you have all these parameters uh, set up already on the machine, so it's very easy to just uh, make uh, quick uh, automation adjustments. Then on our fourth group, we have some uh, percussive sounds that I recorded from the acoustic guitar by tapping on different parts of the guitar. And some additional clap sounds and the maracas. And on this uh, fifth group, the blue group, we have a piano, the Leviathan Upright. It's from the, the Gentleman, I think. If we look into the plugin, yeah, it's the Gentleman with a beat delay, two beat delays, and the Valhalla Room to give it that epic uh, reverb. <laughs> Then on the sixth group, we have uh, a lot of drum sounds. And on the seventh group, some ambience. And another ambience. It's some uh, metallic uh, industrial ambience that is uh, reversed and set to loop mode. And it has the frequency shifter. very cool effect and then we have uh, some uh, a china and the reverse china so if, if we want to reverse the sound just go to the plugin the sampler reverse and boom we can always go into the sampling mode if we want to see where the playhead is within the sample very convenient and actually, when I'm producing songs, I don't need to look at the monitor that much. I can do most adjustments uh, from the hardware directly. That's uh, very cool. So it's a very good uh, workflow on this machine. Then we have the bass. And then the final group, uh, there's some additional samples. Recorded with the Gibson guitar. And they are recorded in the same tempo as the, as the first acoustic sample. And some more overtones. More guitar. 
and some more uh, higher notes to have a little bit of spread in the spectrum. And together it sounds like this. And then I have uh, two lock modes in the track to be able to transition between this uh, drop down part and the actual the actual uh, drop part, if you will. So I can easily just uh, transition to this uh, breakdown part whenever I want by pressing just uh, the lock. So uh, that's all the parts for this uh, track. And then we have, of course, the, the different scenes in the track. We have the intro, when the guitar begins, a little verse, and the chorus. Yeah, so that's all for the Marcia Scope song. Okay, for the final uh, verdict and the conclusion. The machine, machine MK3 will probably stay with me for a long time in the studio for creating music and doing sound design. I also have the Machina Jam, but I found myself only using the touch strips for controlling CC data. But uh, for a DJ, the Machina Jam will probably a very good choice. The Machina MK3 goes for around $599 at the moment and uh, the Machina Jam goes for $299. If you want to check out the Machina MK3 please use the affiliate links that I have below in this uh, in this video in the description or you can uh, check out my kit.com page where you can see a lot of the studio gear that I use for music production. Yeah, that's a wrap for today. I hope you liked this video and please subscribe and comment. You can also join in my creative community as a Patreon and get access to songs, sample packs and a lot of other behind the scenes stuff. And uh, don't forget to check out my previous video on how to compose music like the Fortnite menu theme. It should be here somewhere. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.